Hello everyone, hello my students. Today we will study solving quadratic equations. We studied before last year. So let's revise some notes. Solving quadratic equations. We studied before that the equation of the first degree is ax plus b equals 0. And the equation of the second degree is ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. It's called a quadratic equation. But pay attention guys, how can we determine the degree of the equation? The degree of the equation is the greatest power of the variable for example number one the equation 2x plus 7 equals 0 of the what degree guys ask yourself what is the greatest power of the variable x the greatest power is 1 so the equation of the first degree number two the equation x squared minus 5x plus 6 equals 0 the greatest power is 2 now the equation the second degree number three guys the equation x cubed plus one equals zero of the third degree finally x raised to the power four plus one equals zero of the fourth degree because the greatest power is four solving a quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero we have two methods graphically and algebraically algebraically we can use factorizing and general formula pay attention guys you can remember the general formula that is x equals negative b plus or minus radical b squared minus 4ac over 2a first guys factorizing we will study how can we solve the equation by using factorizing and general formula for example guys solve the equations in r using factorizing number one x squared plus 7x plus 12 equals 0 just factorize the left hand side it's trinomial it's easy x squared it will be x times x now we are looking for two numbers their product is to 12 and their sum is 7 now 3 times 4 equals 12 and their sum is 7 now we can factorize it as x plus 3 times x plus 4 equals 0 we can deduce that x equals negative 3 and x equals negative 4 just move 3 and 4 to the other side to be subtracted we can get x equals negative 3 and x equals negative 4 now write the solution set it will be the set of the two elements negative 3 comma negative 4 next guys x squared minus 7 x plus 6 we can factorize the left hand side as x minus 1 times x minus 6 equals 0 because 6 times 1 equals 6 and their sum is 7. Pay attention guys, the two numbers 6 and 1 have the same sign of the middle term because the last term is buzz we studied before. Now we can deduce that x equals 6 and x equals 1. Now the solution set is 6 comma 1. Number 3 guys, x squared minus 1 equals 0. It's the difference between two squares x and 1. Now it will be the sum times the difference it will be x plus 1 times x minus 1 equals 0 we can deduce that x equals negative 1 and x equals 1 now write the solution set it will be negative 1 comma 1 number 4 x squared plus 3x equals 0 we have a common factor here which is x now it will be x times x plus 3 equals 0 we can deduce that x equals 0 and x equals negative 3 number 5 guys x squared plus 9 equals 0 the sum of the two squares just move to the other side to be subtracted we get x squared equals negative 9 negative 9 is not a real number now we can deduce that the solution set is a null set which is 5 number 6 guys x times x minus 1 times x plus 1 equals 0 we can deduce directly that x equals 0 and x equals 1 x equals negative 1 now the solution set we have three elements because the equation of the third degree don't forget negative 1 1 and 0 remember guys the general formula of the solution of the quadratic equation is what guys x equals negative p plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a don't forget this rule a is what b is what c is what a is the coefficient of x squared b is the coefficient of x and c is absolute value don't forget before solving the equation you must write it as ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero for example guys solve the following in r using the general formula number one two x squared plus three x minus four equals zero first write a b and c a is a coefficient of x squared equals two b is a coefficient of, of x equals three negative four is absolute value write the rule x equals negative p plus or minus root b squared minus four ac 
over 2a just plug with numbers or substitute in the row now x equals negative 3 plus or minus root 3 squared minus 4 times 2 times the value of c which is negative 4 over 2 times value of a it will be 2 now simplify it will be negative 3 plus or minus root 9 plus 32 over 4 9 plus 32 equals what guys yes equals 41 now x equals negative 3 plus or minus root 41 over 4. Just write here the two roots or the two solution. The first one it will be negative 3 plus root 41 over 4. The second one it will be the same but minus root 41. Now write the solution it will be the two roots, the two values of x. Number 2 guys x plus 5 over x equals 4. First guys write the equation as ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Now you have to multiply the equation by x. We can get x squared plus 5 equals 4x. Just move 4x to the other side to be subtracted and order the equation. Now we can write x squared minus 4x plus 5 equals 0. Now write a, b, and c. a is a coefficient of x squared equals 1, b is negative 4, and c equals 5. Write the rule x equals negative b plus or minus root b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Now x equals what guys? 4 plus or minus. Pay attention guys, root b squared equals 16. It will be 16 minus. 4 times a times c it will be minus 20 now 16 minus 20 equals what guys equals negative 4 now the number under the root it will be negative negative what yes 16 minus 20 equals negative 4 the root of negative 4 is not a real number now we can deduce directly that the solution set of the equation x plus 5 over x equals 4 is a null set which is 5 the graphic way the graphic way after graphing the curve of the equation guys the solution set of the quadratic equation is the x coordinates of the intersection points with x axis first guys just to determine the intersection points the intersection points in the figure one we have negative three and zero with x axis on the right hand side we have here one comma three now guys ask yourself what the x coordinates of the two points we have negative three and one now guys we can write the solution set at the x coordinates of the two intersections points it will be negative 3 comma 1 the second shape guys we have just one intersection point which is negative 2 and 0 now x equals what yes x equals negative 2 now the solution set is the set of negative 2 the last shape guys we have no intersection point now we can write the solution set of the equation it will be 5 let's revise some exercises choose the correct answer number one he said the equation x minus 1 times x plus 2 equals 0 is of what degree first second third fourth keep your eye on the equation x minus 1 times x plus 2 if we simplify this equation and we write it as ax squared plus bx plus c it will be x squared plus x minus 2 equals 0 just multiply x times x equals x squared negative 1 times times positive 2 it will be negative 2 and the middle term is a sum of the two extremes and the two means guys it will be x times what times 2 it will be 2x negative 1 times x negative x now 2x plus negative x it will be positive x now guys to determine the degree of the equation keep your eye on the greatest power of x it will be what yes 2 now the equation of what degree guys yes of the second degree and you can find it mentally by the way number two guys the solution set of the equation x squared equals x and r just write the equation as ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero so move x to the other side to be subtracted now x squared minus x equals 0 we have a common factor which is x now we can factorize the left hand side as x times x minus 1 now directly x equals 0 and x equals now now 1 now the solution set it will be 0 comma 1 number 3 guys the solution set of the equation x squared plus 3 equals 0 in r is pay attention guys if we have the sum of two squares directly the solution set it will be 5 but if we move positive 3 to the other side to be subtracted we can get x squared equals negative 3 by taking the square root of the two sides we can deduce now that x equals the root of negative 3 root of negative 3 guys is not a real number we can deduce now the solution set is 5 so the correct answer is D. Number 4 guys the solution set of the equation x squared minus 2x equals negative 1 just move negative 1 to the other side to be added. 
now x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals 0 the trinomial guys x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals 0 it's a perfect trinomial we can write it as x minus 1 all squared equals 0 pay attention by taking the square root we can get x minus 1 equals 0 now x equals what yes equals 1 so the correct answer is D. Number 5 guys, the figure opposite represents the graph of the curve of the quadratic equation f. The solution set of the equation of fx equals 0. First guys, determine the intersection point with x axis. It will be negative 2 comma 0. So, the solution set, it will be the x coordinates. Now, x equals what? x equals negative 2. Now, the correct choice is A. Note guys, how can we find the vertex of the graph? f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. It's a rule. Is negative b over 2a? This is the x coordinates. Why just to find the f of negative b over 2a by using the rule? For example, guys, he said, find the vertex of the graph of the equation x squared plus 2x minus 1 equals 0. First, guys, find a and b. a equals the coefficient of x squared, it will be 1. b, the coefficient of x equals 2. Now, guys, find the x coordinates it will be negative b over 2a negative b it will be negative 2 over 2a 2 times 1 equals 2 now x equals negative 2 divided by 2 it will be negative 1 to find the y coordinates guys just to find f of negative 1 by using the rule f of negative 1 it will be negative 1 all squared plus 2 times negative 1 minus 1 negative 1 squared equals 1 plus 2 times negative 1 it will be negative 2 minus 1. Now, guys, we can say that negative 2, negative 1, it will be negative 3. Plus 1, it will be negative 2. Now, the vertex is what, guys? Is a point negative 1, comma, negative 2. Note, guys, if x equals L is a root of the quadratic equation ax squared plus px plus c equals 0. Root means what? Means a solution. So, x equals L satisfy the equation. How guys just delete x and write l. We can deduce that a l squared plus b l plus c equals 0. The root of the equation means find the value of x when y equals 0. Don't forget guys. So y equals what guys? Yes, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. For example guys, it's a very important point. If x equals 3, root of the equation x squared plus ax plus 6 equals 0. Find the other root. First guys, to find the other root, you must find the value of a. First step, find the value of a. Since x equals 3 is a root guys, now we can deduce that x equals 3 satisfies the equation. Just delete x and write 3. We can get 3 squared plus 3a plus 6 equals 0. Now guys, 3 squared equals 9 plus 3a plus 6. 9 plus 6 just collect like terms equals what? Equals 15. We can get the equation 3a plus 15 equals 0. Move 15 to the other side to be subtracted. We get 3a equals negative 15. Divide both sides by 3. The coefficient of a. Pay attention. So a equals negative 15 divided by 3. It will be negative 5. Now guys, a equals negative 5. Substitute in the equation or the main equation. Now with the equation x squared minus 5x plus 6 equals 0. We can solve this equation by using factorization. x squared it will be x times x and 6 it will be 2 times 3. The two numbers have the same sign of the middle term. They will be negative. Now x minus 2 times x minus 3 equals 0. We can deduce directly that x equals 2 and x equals 3. Pay attention guys. x equals 3 is a given root. But the other root it will be what? Yes, it will be 2. The second value of x. Example, if 5 and negative 3 are the two roots of the equation x squared plus ax plus b equals 0. Find the value of a and b. First guys, add x equals 5. So x equals 5 satisfies the equation. Now, delete x and write 5. We can get 5 squared plus a times 5 plus b. We can say that 25 equals 5. 25 plus 5a plus b equals 0. Just move 25 to the other side to be subtracted. We can get 5a plus b equals negative 25. This is the first equation. The second equation at x equals negative 3 by the same way. Just x equals negative 3 satisfies the equation. We can delete x and write negative 3. We can get guys what? Yes, 9 minus 3a plus b 
equals zero by the same way move nine to the other side to be subtracted we can get negative three a plus b equals negative nine we can call it equation two now how can we solve the equation one and the equation two together just subtract two from one 5a minus negative 3a it will be 8a equals what guys yes negative 25 minus negative 9 it will be what yes negative 25 plus 9 it will be negative 16 divide both sides by 8 it will be 8 equals negative 2 to find the value of b just substitute in 1 or 2 as you like I will substitute in one so delete a and write negative 2 we can get negative 10 plus b equals negative 25 move negative 10 to the other side to be added now b equals negative 25 plus 10 it will be negative 15 if you like my video subscribe to my channel for more math videos thanks for watching see you in the next video